Hello everyone, this is Cliff. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls Super Prepared to Die Edition. Now, I've made a few little cosmetic changes to my character. He's wearing a Chester's hat, which makes this set look really creepy. Um, but I'm here with Rhea, and I have purchased almost all of her items. I want to see if I can purchase this last item. Alright, so once we purchase Wrath of Gods, we have actually bought everything we can from her. Okay, so we find out that Petrus is an asshole. Okay, so once we purchased purchased all of our items, uh, now a, an event will happen uh, where she is actually. Uh, transported to a different place um, but you can find out about Petrus from uh, Lautric uh, at, at a certain point a uh, very small window because of uh, when Lautric stays at Firelink Shrine uh, you can actually find out about Petrus and he will tell you basically that Petrus is an asshole uh, before Rhea does and now at this point I mean you can do anything you want to oh. You can uh, you can kill this guy if you want to. He would if if we hadn't come back and visited the uh, Firelink, uh, uh, excuse me, the Undead Parish. He would have killed Rhea. So that's kind of a douche move. So you can do what you want to with him. Uh, you know, you could kill him if if you don't need the miracles. He's pretty. At this point in time, he shouldn't be too difficult to, to kill. But uh, at this point, he won't discuss anything about Rhea. I'm going to check up here and see if she's no longer up here. If she's not, then I will head to the Duke's archives and show you what happens uh, to Rhea. She's still here. I gotta probably warp away. Okay, so after we get all of the items and uh, we warp away, she's no longer here. So when we cut back in, uh, we'll be at the Duke's archives and I'll show you where you can find her. Okay, so we're back in the prison area of the Duke's archives. And what we're going to do is see if we can find Rhea. I think she's down near the bottom. Again, you've got these snake enemies that we fought hundreds of times before, it seems. So we're going to just cook this guy. Right, that's pretty easy. Um, head down here. It's been a while, so I'm not quite sure which uh, cell she's in. Obviously not that one. Okay. Yes, right there. And that's her completely hollowed. And she has no equipment, so she's kind of screwed. And 
and so we put her out of her misery and we will pick up some humanity a lot of humanity and the ivory talisman and unfortunately that kind of ends Rhea's storyline uh not necessarily the best ending in the world but that's kind of dark souls in a nutshell all right uh so that i think is all of the optional stuff i want to do oh well except for petrus let's go take care of petrus okay so we're back at firelink shrine and what i want to show you is uh the item you get this ivory talisman here <clears throat> excuse me and what else have we gotten that i didn't show you i didn't show you the pierce shield uh which changes the r2 um that's kind of a minor thing now what we're gonna do is then lady what terrifying news what am i to do all because of my shortcomings it is my fault oh 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 yeah, that's pretty pathetic. Oh, but I'm distracted. He's distracted by grief. Uh, but he was an asshole, so screw it. Goodbye. And that's for being an asshole. Okay, so we've pretty much taken care of... Uh, Anybody that could sell us miracles, uh, of course, we never, never really used any of that stuff anyway. So uh, now that I've extracted justice uh, for Rhea, um, we're going to go on and do some of the optional content. I'll see you guys soon.